Hi everyone, I'm the Art Toy Advocate, Nick Curtis, and today we're going to look at something a little bit out of the norm. Two do-it-yourself horror-themed wind chimes from Secret Base. Bringing you back to the cut and assemble paper projects of yore, these wind chimes feature a Japanese ceramic head with ball striker inside and two different DIY paper wind catcher options. A simple decorated strip or body with moving joints. These wind catchers are available in two designs, as I already mentioned. The first being this Obake wind catcher that I already assembled, depicting a yorai or ghost. You might notice that the face of this figure is disfigured, especially around the eye. So I suspect this is actually a depiction of Oiwa, a character I recently gave the history of in my video review for Three Tides Tattoos vinyl rendition. The other wind chime, which we'll be assembling together, is a more traditional skeleton design. In putting the first one together, I learned a couple of tricks which I'm happy to share. As you can see, the unassembled kit comes with a head-shaped bell, carefully packed in a box, alongside a printed sheet of paper, an instruction sheet, and a handful of brass fasteners or split pins. You'll also need a pair of scissors and some sort of sharp tool to poke holes in the paper for which I'm using a seam ripper. Step one is to cut out all the pieces from the sheet of paper. On one side is the wind catcher strip and the other side has all the body parts. Just take your time and cut carefully, but otherwise this is a pretty easy task. Since I'm not going to use the wind catcher strip, I'll just put that over here to the side. But you could attach it now and be done. But, I mean, let's face it, having the full body is much more interesting and fun. So, for step two, I'm going to take my seam ripper and poke holes in all the marked places. With that done, step three is really easy. You just push the provided brass fasteners through the holes on the limbs and then affix them to the correct body space. Once in, you split the pins on the back, locking the limbs in place while still allowing them to articulate. The body all done, lastly, you thread the string from the bell through the topmost hole in the body. You need to be careful to make sure that the loop, the top of this, doesn't slip through the hole. So you hold it carefully in place, or better yet, take a piece of tape and temporarily cover the hole on the top. Now we're going to thread one of these dangling strings through the body's topmost hole, and then tie it off tightly with the other one. Once done, we can trim the string and make it look pretty.
And that's it. We're done. I know it might sound silly, but I really enjoyed this as an interactive art project. I do wish the paper aspect featured double-sided printing, so that there was decoration regardless of which way the wind catcher twists and turns. But I love how you end up with a wonderful visual and oral garden ornament that will produce chance-based music for you as the wind blows. As no artist is listed on these functional art releases, I assume that they were designed by Secret Base's owner, Hideaki Hidi Kinoshita. For those interested in getting their own copies of these wind chimes, they are available right now through Secret Base's website, secret-b.com. Thank you for watching me, Nick Curtis, the Art Toy Advocate. Do you agree with me or disagree with me? Let me know your thoughts on Secret Base's wind chimes by commenting below, as well as liking or disliking this video on YouTube. And please remember to subscribe to the CoArt video channel to be kept up to date on my reviews.